moments away. The setting in North Carolina, the Spectrum Center in Charlotte, the 76ers taking on the Hornets. For the Philadelphia 76ers, they've won just four games out of their last ten, and they know they can do better. This team has talent, and they'll try to bring it all back together and get things on track with a win. Hornets, Sixers. If you're looking for a party this Saturday night, we're bringing you one. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Brian Anderson here, joined by our analysts, Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke, plus reporting from the sidelines, Ali LaForce. Let's take a second to check in on the race for Rookie of the Year and see how the rankings are shaping up for this year's class of new NBA talents. You look at Miller, he has really come out of the gate hot with his debut season. Currently in the third spot, but I could easily see him climbing the rankings. He's gotten his rookie season off to a tremendous start. He deserves to be right up there near the top of the list. And let's remember, he had his doubters, but I think he's gone a long way towards silencing those critics, even this early in the season. So let's take a look at the starters for the Philadelphia 76ers. They've got Robert Covington, Tyrese Maxey is out there with Patrick Beverly. Then there's Tobias Harris, and it's Embiid in at the center position. And for Charlotte, Ball and Rogier, they man the backcourt. Hayward and Bridges at the small and power forward spot. And it's Richards in at the five. Young season, young talent. What do you look for to identify an up-and-coming team with a chance to be special? In the NBA, obviously, you have to start with talent. But then, it's fit, it's identity, it's personality. I mean, all of those ingredients matter in becoming a top team. Pass to Bridges. And here is Hayward. Shot clock at six. Here's Ball, driving inside. Great D that time from Beverly. Now Maxi, pounded by Rozier. Now here's Embiid. Tight defense on him. Embiid, a screen on Hayward. Harris passes to Embiid. Hornets with the rebound. They're fresh off the win against the Pelicans. They were really able to exploit that defense. I mean, getting almost any shot they wanted. It was that easy. Give them some credit. I'll tell you this. They caught an opponent on a very off night defensively, and you take advantage. Simple as that. And there's a whistle. That goes on Robert Covington. That's his first foul. For a minute gone here in the first quarter. Hayward for three. A skilled defender. Harris uses his reach and lateral quickness so well. Beverly, the pass to Embiid. Richards pulls it in. Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close a range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. A tremendous job defensively. Bridges, a screen on Maxi. Inside. Hayward finds Bridges. Covington. Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chippy. Embiid, high post. Clock at six. Embiid drawing the double team. Can't hit that one. The Hornets have gone 0 for 3 from the floor to begin this one. Rozier outside. Pass to Richards. Uneasy easy two on the layup. To me, this is where Terry Rozier can absolutely punish you. With the shot or on the pass, kick and roll, ooh, 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 he's a problem. Maxi passes to Harris. Uses 
use the glass to finish the layup. In so many ways, Harris can beat you. He has the size and skill to score from all three levels. And discussing the game of Terry Rozier, Doris, what's something that impresses you about him? Probably B.A., his confidence in his game. Uh, he's so aggressive and opportunistic on the offensive end. Sometimes you've got to find guys who put the ball in the basket, period. That's Terry Rozier. Shoot two. And he drops the first. Guys, it seems to me that every year Miles Bridges takes another leap. This guy is versatile. He can play both forward positions. He brings so much to the table. Reed's checked in for Covington. Bridges hits them both. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. And here is Maxi. He's coming off a 13-point game against Detroit. And guys, remember, remarkable passing the ball as well. He racked up a number of good assists. And it's blocked. Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. Richards passed the ball. And there's just one foul now away from the Pentagon. And now it's time to take another view of that huge spot. Letting them know up front that he's on the hunt tonight and eager to knock away shots. I love it. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Back to Bridges. Up top ball. Down to five on the shot clock. Just one for five. Not the start they were looking for. Obviously, there's still plenty of time to get on track. Beverly outside. Back to Harris. Down low. Here's Embiid. That falls. Nice setup by Harris. You're going to have to do a lot more than that to stop Joel Embiid. Ball against Beverly. Now here's Ball. Tightly guarded. He pointed Bridges. Nails it from three. Bridges has got five points. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of move. Maxi against Rozier. Pass to Beverly. And here's Embiid. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of the 76ers this year. They'll face each other four times this season. Let's see which team starts off strong. I think each team obviously will be looking to dictate the tempo and set the tone early. For three, Maxi sinks it. What range from downtown. He's a potent mix of effort and ability. Hard to shut down a player of his caliber. Up top, Rozier. Maxi covering. The three from Ball. He drops it from range. And now a ball said, I see your trouble and I raise you one of my own. The Sixers trailing. Pass to Embiid. Hayward against Harris. Stolen by Bridges. Pass break. Here come the Hornets. Here's Ball. And Ball throws it down. Selfishness of Miles Bridges. Just another guy has a better shot. He's ready to move that basketball. Maxi passes to Embiid. Up top, Beverly. Back to Embiid. Ten feet away. And 
and he gets that one. That's his second make in seven attempts. Not a pretty start. The Hornets have gone five of nine from the floor. Throws the air outside. Off target from three-point range. The 76ers have gone four of nine in this one so far. Now Beverly. He's scoreless. Now here's Embiid. Six to shoot. No good with the elbow jumper. I think he's got to settle down because right now it feels like he's rushing, like he's forcing some shots. This quarter he has been completely bothered. The three from ball. Joel Embiid with the board. And so it's Maxi who brings up the ball for the Philadelphia 76ers. It's a five-point game. Harris, the shot is good. And nice strength from Harris, fending off the contact with ease. Charlotte has gone two of five from deep. Here's Rozier in his last outing with 12 points. Ball passes to Bridges. Rozier outside. Bridges with it. Ball outside from deep. A rebound by Embiid. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the teammates have been there to pick up the slack. Love it. Pass to Reed. Now here's Embiid. Shot from the low block. Richards pulls it in. Richards has got his fourth rebound in this one. Ball against Beverly. Ball passes to Richards. Second chance effort. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Embiid's got four rebounds now. Beverly on the wing. Pounded by Ball. Now here's Embiid. He's closely guarded. The fadeaway. Got it. Now just a one-point Charlotte lead. You expect Embiid to find his points. He's a talented player who can score at will. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. in for Bridges. Martin comes in for Hayward. And it's book night in for LaMelo Ball. House, he's checked in for the Sixers. Melton comes in for Maxi. The Hornets with a lead. Rozier outside. Pass to Washington. Here's Book Knight. Back to Washington. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. I think you have to admire the aggressiveness with which P.J. Washington plays every single night. 
DJ Washington. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Washington. Coffee, he's checked in for House. And so Washington nails both of them. The 76ers have gone 6 of 13 so far in this one. And here's Beverly. No points yet. Now Embiid. Hornets with the rebound. Richards has got six rebounds now in the game. And I'll tell you, they're going to need more from this guy if they're going to cut into this deficit. Pass to Rozier. Washington, a screen on Beverly. Three on the clock. Rozier. Philadelphia grabs the miss. And that closeout certainly made a difference. Well, no question. He all through that shot. And most of the time, that's just as good as blocking it. Embiid with it. Richards is there. Fader on the way. Embiid misses. That's a shot he'd like, man. He's usually going to make those. Here's Book Knight. Melton covers. Book Knight can't get it to go. The Sixers trailing. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Pass to Embiid. Boy, it's been a while, but he finally gets one to go. Embiid's got eight. What pretty vision right there by Patrick Beverly. Wow. Now here's Rozier. Giving them some good production. Putting up just around 16 and a half points a game. Martin with the bucket. 136 left in the opening quarter. Beverly against Rozier. Pass to Melton. Fires the three. That won't go. This is his first shot of the game. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. You know, one guy who really thrives on heavy usage, Terry Rozier. B.A., this is a guy who's more than capable of being a catalyst nightly on the offensive end of the floor. It just feels like his energy and his focus and his willingness to be assertive as a scorer has a positive impact night. Beverly for three. Yes, and it's M.B. picking up the assist. And it's a tie ball game. No hesitation in the catch-and-shoot situation. Patrick Beverly ready to shine. Embiid against Washington. Outside for Rozier. Misses from short range. Philadelphia has gone two for three from outside the arc. Coffee, the pass to Embiid. Over Washington. And again, it's Philadelphia. I mean, it's almost like the higher degree of difficulty on the shot, the more focused Embiid will be. Of course, as an opponent, it can be so frustrating to face a player who can score against your toughest defense. Here's Rozier. Richards with a screen. This one for three. And he can't get that one. Joel Embiid. He's feeling it tonight. And has been the driving force for Philadelphia. Between the scoring and rebounding, an excellent period. We'll be right back.
been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And let's take a moment to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for Philadelphia. Well, the big guys in the post are outworking their opponent in effort and physicality. They just simply want it more. And they've also shown dominance in the paint so far tonight, really putting the work in down low. The Sixers leading. Ball at point with Rozier next to him. That's the backcourt. Cody Martin is out there with Washington. And it's Williams in at the five. That's the Hornets five. Maxi against Ball. Just five on the clock. Puts it up. And it's Maxi missing. The Hornets shooting just around 32% from the field to the middle. And it's Washington missing. Well, the 76ers shooting at a decent clip, 45% for the game. Pass to Maxi. Here's the three. Washington grabs the miss. Here's Charlotte, trailing by two. When this game is done, they'll be off to Toronto, taking on the Raptors. That'll be the first leg of just a two-game trip for them. And there's a whistle. That goes on the Anthony Melton. That's his first foul. Morris, he's checked in for the Sixers. Here's Washington. Washington, a screen on Melton. Going inside. And counted. The shot is good, and he'll go the line. Well, I don't they get a screen assist for that good, but they get the points, and that's all that matters. And with load management, some say it's the team's job at times to protect players from themselves. How different is that from when you play, Grant? You know, B.A., it's very different. I think teams now are much smarter assessing load and risk and looking more at the long-term big picture of their players. Falls. That puts him up one point in the game now. Here in the second quarter, a little over a minute to play. Maxi with it. There's the triple. Sinks it from distance. Maxi's got his second basket of the night. Now the D giving him a little bit of space beyond the three-point line, and that's all the room he needs. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Well, another ball shooting question was questioned. He didn't believe, but it's been pretty steady. He said, quote, I think I'm a great shooter. I've had it since a young age. I feel every shot I take is going to go in, and my confidence is really high. He said, I practice these shots. It's all in the snap of the wrist and the follow-through. Brian? Very interesting. Flick of the wrist. Thanks, Allie. Good stuff. And here's Ball. We'll bring it up for Charlotte. In the second quarter, they've given up just three points. And Williams punches it home. If you leave a teammate of LaMelo Ball that wide open, I promise you, he will find him. Pass to Bamba. Back to Melton. Six on the shot clock. Washington grabs the miss. Washington's got four rebounds now. Ball with it. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second. Off the mark there with a three. Ooh, that's a tough break. After poor communication defensively, it leaves him all by himself. Pass to Maxi. Morris outside. Melton with the ball. Outside Maxi. Late clock. The Sixers need to put one up here. And it's Martin with the rebound. For Charlotte, they've gone three of five since the beginning of the second. Ball finds Williams. And here's Washington. Oh, it's blocked by Pamba. Philadelphia has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Melton outside. And 
just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. To the right side. Ball stolen. Now the Hornets moving it up. Here's Martin. Oh, hammers it home. Taking it the length of the court. When you get a chance to run the floor like that, you have to capitalize. Great hustle on that play. Pablo, the screen on ball. For three, Maxi. Hornets with the rebound. And here's Martin. Pass the ball. To the inside. Here's Williams. Yes, sir. And it's Ball with the assist that time. Ball's got three assists in the game. Boy, absolutely no rim protection leading to a lot of easy buckets. I'm called here. The 76ers decide to talk it over. And you don't see many 6-7 point guards. But that's not all that stands out with LaMelo Ball, Graham. Yeah, not just a creator. He's a creative with the artistic inspiration to make plays that most of us couldn't envision, much less accomplish. Richards has checked in for Williams. Bridges comes in for Washington. And it's Gordon Hayward in for Booknight. on the fadeaway. Embiid's got 12. Yeah, the big man Embiid just capable of sticking it from these in-between spots. Now here's Ball. Coming off a 37-point game against New Orleans. Boy, and defensively, he had them off balance. He was able to come away with four steals. Foul beyond the arc, and he almost hit the shot. He'll go to the line for three. After signing a huge deal with Boston in 2017, Gordon Hayward had that terrible leg injury. It's amazing, B.A., how quickly the trajectory of a career can change. It took Gordon Hayward a full year of rehabilitation after what was a gruesome injury. But I admire the work and commitment it took to get back, and now he is rebuilding and contributing to winning again. One's off. I think it's easy to admire everything Gordon Hayward brings to the table. This guy can score at all three levels, and he can also defend. He's crucial to this team. And the second free throw is good. And he nails the third. Here's Maxi. He has six. Pass to Embiid. It doesn't go for him. 
Good work defensively by Richards. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Now here's Bridges from behind the arc. And the rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got six rebounds now in the game. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Ball against Beverly. Embiid is screen on ball. With the floater. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. He's so tough to stop. Even when you hit Embiid, he possesses the strength to muscle shots in. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Charlotte. Well, guys, early on, they're driving the lane constantly, using their quickness to gain an advantage. Look at their points off penetration. The other thing that's gone exceptionally well for them tonight is the shooting they've displayed from beyond the three-point arc. Washington's checked in for Charlotte. They're one of the most well-rounded players in the game. Embiid is also a top-notch trash talker, too. I mean, he knows how to get under the skin of his opponents. Up top, Bridges. Pass to Richards. And it's blocked by Embiid. And here they come. Harris passes to Maxi. Here's Embiid. the ball. No point so far. Clock at six. Here's Beverly. Gets rebounded by Charlotte. Richards has got rebound number eight now. Bridges passes to Washington. And it's Harris with the rebound. And Harris has got the ball here for Philadelphia. Six point game. Following this one they get to host the Bulls. That'll be the first of three games played at home. Beverly for three. Hornets with the rebound. Richards has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. It's stolen by Maxi. And now the Sixers on the break. And the layup is good off the glass. Maxi's got his third basket on the night right there. And he's such a unique talent at both ends. Embiid with the vision that time. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. That's a good timeout. They just can't hit anything. Sometimes it just feels like misses become contagious. He wants to settle his guys down right now. Rozier's checked in. Covington's checked in for the Sixers. Hayward. Take it to him, 
Goes here outside. Five to shoot. The shot misses. Great D that time from Beverly. The Sixers trailing. Outside Maxi. Pass to Embiid. He's got a piece of it. And here's Washington. 13 points in the win against New Orleans. Now Richards. And here's Rozier. To win the drought. And he connects with a jumper. Sometimes the defense is willing to contest that in-between game. And Terry Rozier says, listen, if it's a bucket, I'll take it. Pass to Embiid. Beverly. Covington, a screen on Rozier. Beverly, the pass to Covington. The three-pointer off the mark. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Rozier with it. Now Hayward. He picked up 15 in their last win against New Orleans. And you know, guys, the other thing I really appreciated about his effort in that game was the effort and work on the glass. What a well-rounded performance. Well, if you offer no resistance defensively, he's going to knock down the three. It's really that simple, guys. Maxi against Hayward. Here's Embiid. Good work defensively by Richards. For Charlotte, they've gone 8 of 15 in the second. Washington passes to Rozier. Washington right side. Hayward outside. Washington a screen on Maxi. From deep. Hayward from beyond the arc and then some. And it's a 12-point Hornet lead. And they seem to have a hard time picking good shots in the first quarter. But it's all coming together now for them here. Maxi passes to Embiid. Fades away. And he makes it. Embiid's got 17. Yeah, good things happen when Embiid has the ball in his hands. I mean, this guy can do it all. Bridges outside. Pass to Hayward. Now here's Rozier. From downtown. The rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. And it's Rozier with the ball for Charlotte. Hayward outside. And there's 138 left in the first half of this one. Washington outside. Pass to Richards. Back to Washington. Here's Hayward. The rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got rebound number eight now. Beverly, the pass to Maxi. 111 left in the first half. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That went on Hayward. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. And he knocks down the first one. Ball, he's checked in for Charlotte. Free throws good from Maxi. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. Ball surveys the floor. Pass to Richards. Maxi against Rozier. Bridges outside. The three ball. Fires in the triple. 
Bridges has got eight. Now, this is important that Miles Bridges continues to knock down shots from deep because it balances his ability to go off the triple drive as well. Good to see him shoot it like this. Beverly, the pass to Covington. Here's Harris. Outside Covington. Beverly for three. It falls. He's now two of five from the field. Well, Patrick Beverly puts in the time to become a legit threat from range. Ball against Beverly. Now here's Ball. The D's right on him. Screen by Bridges. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And so it's Charlotte up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? I'm here with P.J. Washington. P.J., what will be the key for you guys defensively in the second half? Uh, not letting them get easy routes to the basket and uh, contesting their shots, rebounding, and uh, not letting them get second chance points. Comes back to the fundamentals, guys. Thanks very much, Allie. And folks, we'll be right back to start the second half of this game. Welcome in for halftime. And what's on tap, you ask? I can answer that. So far, it's been a nice outing for the Charlotte Hornets. Hey, I was wondering, after the show, you guys doing anything? Well, that depends. Well, I got three free tickets to Golf and Grill. Includes the go-karts, the batting cages, and they got smoked ribs. Why, is this the first time I'm hearing about this? Probably because you don't own the place. All right, now it's time to talk about our featured game tonight. Not a great turnout so far for the Philadelphia 76ers. They really got to turn the intensity up in the second half. You look at their free throw differential between the teams, it's a big gap. They need to be more physical and start earning more fouls. That's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's send you over to Brian Anderson with the third period. Was just tuning in. Thanks for being with us. Second half of this game still to play. Well, you look at Joel and B. He's playing really well right now. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far, unstoppable. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast thus far. We're halfway through the game. And the 76ers, look at who they've got. Tyrese Maxey is out there with Patrick Beverly. Then it's Robert Covington. Then it's Joel Embiid. And it's Harris in at the three. Beverly, the pass to Embiid. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. All outside. Ball in the paint. Well, the size the mellow ball brings to this position helps him finish on the interior, even against tough coverage. Wow. Embiid is screen on Rozier. Here's Maxi. Then the 10-footer finds the target. Maxi's got 12 points. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Rozier can't get it to go. The Sixers trailing. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Pass to Maxi. Outside Covington. Hayward against Beverly. Covington, screen on Hayward. Beverly shot off. Charlotte is shooting 41% of this game. Now ball. Edward, just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. Here's Richards. Yes, sir. And it's Paul with the assist that time. Paul's got his fourth assist with that last one. This guy looks like a veteran in pick and roll action already. LaMelo Ball just taking the defenders apart. 
Embiid high post. Richards is there. Embiid's shot is good. And the Hornets with possession here. They held a 12-point lead earlier. To the paint. Here's Rozier. And a nice finish on the layup. Six points for him. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Pass to Maxi. Embiid is screen on Rozier. Maxi passes to Embiid. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. And the moment Embiid gets the ball anywhere near the hoop, it's over. Too strong to stop without foul. Shoot two. Free throw, no good. He hits the second from the line. Second half of play here with just under two and a half minutes pass. Hayward pass the ball. Back to Hayward. Pass to Rozier. Out to Hayward. Let's it go from deep. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Embiid's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Beverly against ball. Here's Embiid. Ooh, look at Embiid converting it close. I love the confidence Embiid plays with, especially this close to the rim. Time called here. The Hornets decide to talk it over. And something fans don't always get to see, some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. It's tough to hide your communications. Teams go to great lengths to try to do it, but sometimes to no avail. have been hitting the glass with a fury this season. Fifth, the Hornets. This team has done a great job of hitting the boards, and they do tremendous work boxing out. to the wing. Here's Ball. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. 
Well, defenses are content to give up the mid-range, right? It's not the high percentage restricted area or the three. You can see they're prepared to give up that shot. Look at Embiid with the skill finish. The control and focus from Embiid, able to absorb hits from the defense and still finish. Pass to Richards. The ball's knocked loose. It's stolen by Maxi. Covington with it. Hayward against Harris. Richards pulls it in. And Hayward has got the ball here for Charlotte. Pass the ball. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Beverly's got his fifth rebound in this one. Harris down low for three Covington yes and it's Embiid picking up the assist Embiid's got three assists now in this one for Charlotte they've gone three of seven here in this third quarter ball against Beverly throws the air outside back to ball Using his post moves to get the two points. Ball's got nine. We all know Terry Rozier can score the ball, but boy, showing the selflessness right there with that pass. Pass to Covington. Beverly with it. Hounded by Ball. Now here's Embiid. From 11 feet away. Richards pulls it in. Richards has got rebound number 13 tonight with that one. And it's Bridges with the chance. Now the opportunistic Bridges sees you falling asleep defensively up and over the top he goes. Beverly against Ball to the inside. Intercepted. To the middle. Here's Rozier. Up and in on the layup. And now it's an eight-point Charlotte lead. There is no fear when it comes to Terry Rozier. This guy is scorer at heart, even if it means getting it done in the painted area. Embiid, high post. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's going to be on Nick Richards. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Hornets. Their hot shooting from long distance has been the key. Space in the floor and rising up with that confidence. The other thing that's been impressive is really just relentless driving the basketball. Doesn't matter if the defense is there. They are challenging them and getting it done. First free throw is good. And the 76ers making a change here. Melton's checked in. Embiid drops them both. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. Inside. And the dunk to finish it off. Oh, beauty. Such confidence as a passer. Hits guys in stride and makes it look easy. Philadelphia has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Ball against Maxi. Here's Embiid. Out to Covington. And out of bounds. Charlotte will have it. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Gordon Hayward. And when you look at his offensive output over the past few years, it seems like other teams have figured him out and have his number now. He's having to put in a lot more effort on the offensive end, but without producing nearly the same results. Well, that's the second three of the game. One in the first half, one here. Who passes to Maxi? Harris on the wing. Melton against Rozier. Outside Covington. Three pointer. Connects from downtown. Covington's got six in the quarter. Right now, Robert Covington in the catch and shoot has so much confidence. 
Maxi against Ball. Pass to Bridges. Throws the air outside. Shot clock at six. Bridges, a screen on Dalton. Knocks down the long chain. Rozier's got 11. You love that this guy doesn't get down on himself after a rough first half. Keep your composure and keep grinding. Now here's Maxi. 12 points for him. And Embiid gets the double team. Covington. Yes, and it's Embiid picking up the assist. Embiid's got four assists in the game. All right, let's get a report from Ali. When high-level prospects like Victor Wembanyama enter the draft, some teams the motivation to win can falter. And Commissioner Adam Silver said, "quote It's a serious issue, and we've put teams on notice." Brian had sparked hundreds of league meetings, and Silver added, "We're always looking to see whether there's yet a better system." Back to you. Oh, indeed. Thanks, Ali. Picked by Covington. Here's Maxi. Richards pulls it in. Richards is, and Ball will bring it up here for the Hornets. Pass to Rozier, fires for three. The rebound by Embiid. Philadelphia has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Oh, Embiid with the flush. Yeah, Embiid can throw it down from anywhere. So much power for the big fella. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. You could really see his squad was losing steam. Smart timeout to give them a breather. Making some changes. Williams is checked in for Richards. And it's Martin in for LaMelo Ball. The 76ers also with a sub. Bombas checked in for MB. Here against Maxi. Bridges outside. Down low. Williams passes to Rogier. Six to shoot. Williams with the screen. The three. Bridges. He can't get it to go. It's tough to get open in this league. And when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And let's have a look at the centers and power forwards around the league who have been hot from the three-point arc over the past ten games. The second is Robert Covington. And we all love to talk about floor spacing. Well, this group of bigs provide exactly that, which is what makes them so special. You know, and that causes all sorts of matchup problems for an opponent. Just the threat of one of them getting hot from three-point range affects the defensive game plan. The first one falls.
out and drops them both. The Hornets with the lead. Here's Rozier. He's got 11. Williams finds Bridges. Knocks it loose. And so it looks like the Hornets will retain possession here. And now in December, here's what the Eastern Conference standings look like. You look at Charlotte, currently 7th in the conference, hoping to string together some more wins. And of course the 76ers, a game and a half behind. Right now for Charlotte, they came into this season hoping to take a big leap forward. But so far, it just hasn't happened. Yeah, it hasn't been all bad, though. I mean, they've had some nice wins, and even if they're not an elite-level team, they still have the look of a playoff team. Five on the clock. Washington a screen. Here's Booknight. Again, the miss by the Hornets. Philadelphia has gotten six of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And staring at this deficit, they're trying to be more aggressive and get themselves to the line. First free throw is good. And Melton drops them both. Charlotte has gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. Pass to Rozier. Williams a screen on Maxi to the middle. And Williams punches it home. Wonderful. The vision of Rozier really coming along nicely. Here's Melton. Looking at his stats, he's putting up about seven and a half per game. by Bamba. And Melton, here we go. And connects on the nine-footer. Melton's got six here in the quarter. It's interesting. They definitely had more three-point attempts in the first half. Not sure why they went away from it. Washington outside. Jacks up a three. And it's Rozier. That time on the assist by Washington. Rozier's got ten points here in the second half. Outside Maxi. Back to Melton. Powered down after the assist. Led him to the lane. Oh, what ferocity on the throwdown. I just love when he goes up with purpose. Where was the D right there? The effort lacking big time. Yeah, give him credit for taking advantage in a close game. Those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. And Williams punches it home. Size, explosion. He's a dangerous finisher, and we saw it right there. Maxi surveys. That shot is off. Oh, nice D from Rozier. Forty-six seconds left in the third quarter, and it's Washington missing. And so it's Maxi with it. He brings it up for the 76ers. They trail by six. To the inside. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line from there. Well, obviously, this is where Mo Bamba is so dangerous. You make a mistake on the defensive end, he's going to take free throws. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Good for Bamba. Well, Mo Bamba is the prototypical modern NBA big, right? The size combined with the shooting ability. LaMelo Ball, he's checked in for book night. Reed's checked in for the Sixers. Morris comes in for Harris. He's off on the second. 
Charlotte has gone three of seven from deep so far in the third quarter. Oh, got that one up quick. Harden's got his third basket of the night. Well, this is clearly an area that LaMelo Ball takes pride in, the ability to set up these guys. Melton with the ball. Checked by Washington. Melton passes to Reed. And the layup is good. Good pass in to set that up. Teamwork on display. Fantastic ball movement for them tonight. If things are definitely working offensively. A balanced attack is just so much harder to defend. Ball with it. The three from Washington. No, oh, no good on the last second attempt there. A big time effort for Terry Rozier. Providing a lot of energy for Charlotte. He put together 10 points in the quarter. Back to the game after this break. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love the unselfish play. We've reached the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. All in Rozier, they man the backcourt. Washington out there with Cody Martin. And it's Williams in at the five spot. That's the Hornets five. Rozier can't get it to go. The Sixers trailing. Pass to Melton. Here's Bamba. Williams defending. Morris passes to Melton. Just five to shoot. Bamba, screen on ball. From deep, Melton. Another three for Philadelphia. And it just sinks it over the tall defender. That's why you have to crowd shooters on the perimeter. Today's player is not intimidated by size. You even give them a sliver of a window, and they're going to make that shot. Rozier outside. And Washington throws it through. His main time on the rim puts a sweet cherry on top of the end. It's a close game, and those displays of explosiveness can jumpstart a team. Ball against Melton. Pass to Cork Muggs. Now here's Morris. Here's Reed. No good that time. Ooh, Washington with the defensive effort. Martin pass to Washington. Rozier with it. It's Martin on the wing, guarded by Morris. Back to Rozier, puts up a three, and nails it from beyond the arc. And now a seven-point Hornet lead. He's looked like a totally different player in the second half. That's his third triple. Morris sets a screen. Melton against Ball. Melton passes to Reed. And here's Melton. Let's go with a three. Hornets with the rebound. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Washington right side. And Charlotte up again with the bucket. Fourth quarter play. We're about two and a half minutes through it now. Here's Corkmans. And the shot goes in. He's not the quickest guy out there, but he can outsmart you and outwork you. And it's Rozier with the ball for the Hornets. They lead by seven. Knocked away. Here's Cork Bugs. It's Reed, high post. Pass to Melton. Clock at six. Four, three. And it's Martin with the rebound. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. 
Here's Korkmaz. Back to Bamba. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And it's now only a five-point Charlotte lead. Well, what a job by Mo Bamba to get to his area. Get on the interior, pick your spots. Mo Bamba goes just there. All no good. Philadelphia's got seven of their 16 three-point attempts to go in. Here's Korkmaz. Bamba, the screen on Mark. Bamba inside, pounded by Rozier. Bamba misses. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And a chance now to look at the schedule for the Charlotte Hornets. On Monday, they kick off a road trip in Toronto, where they'll take on the Raptors. Then on Wednesday, they'll go up against the Pacers in Indiana. They're looking at a lot of road contests in the next stretch, but this squad has been very good away from home, and I think that continues. And he makes a first. So for the Hornets, Richards comes in for Williams, and it's book night in for Rozier. So he hits one of two from the strike. For Philadelphia, they've gotten three of seven attempts in this fourth quarter to fall. Harris passes to Beverly. Now Melton. To the paint. Here's Harris. Lays it up and banks it in. You have to do more to stop Harris. I mean, a little contact just won't cut. Charlotte has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Here's Book Knight. Pass the ball. Out to the wing. Here's Book Knight. Melton covers. Book Knight can't get it to go. The 76ers have got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. Up top, Embiid. Well-placed jumper from the free throw line. Now just a two-point Charlotte lead. They've now had assists on each of their last three buckets. Martin has to book right. Now here's Paul. They'll head to the line for two. Well, you know how problematic Lamelo is for defenders. Always so willing to draw some contact. First one falls for him. One thing that impresses you about LaMelo, the way he reads defenses and makes the game easier for everyone around him. And the 76ers making a change here. Maxi's checked in. And so Ball nails both of them. Here's Maxi. Harris outside. Embiid inside. Richards is there. Embiid gets the bucket. We're beginning to see this more and more from Harris. Just taking what the defense allows. At that time, finding the wide open man. Ball passes to Richards. And here's Rozier. Maxi covering. Over to the left wing. Shot clock at five. The three from Ball. Joel Embiid with the board. Well, he won't miss many from that spot. The defense gets lucky there. Beverly, the pass to Maxi. Now here's Embiid, covered by Richards. Back to Maxi. Yes, and it's Embiid picking up the assist. Embiid's got assist number five here tonight. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for the Hornets. 
They held a 12-point lead earlier. On the wing, Rozier. Bridges outside. There's a screen. Charlotte needs to get one up in a hurry. Richards. Back to Bridges. Yep, that one goes. And the Hornets lead by two. And that was the right decision. When you're in need of a bucket, you go to your most trusted guys. Well, you've got to earn trust and equity by making shots. Nice delivery there. Beverly with it. Hayward picks him up. And here's Harris. The rebound by Bridges. Ooh, he really came close to leveling the score there. Oh, he had it in his sights. He wanted it. That bucket would have been huge. Rozier against Maxi. Rozier can't get it to go. For Philadelphia, they've gotten 7 of 12 shots to drop in this fourth quarter. Back to Maxi. Embiid is screen on Rozier. Here's Maxi. That shot off the mark. Oh, nice D from Rozier. Bridges passes to Ball. And he lobs it up top. Hammers the lob through. Beautiful setup on the alley. Great catch. Great flush. Time out call the 76ers. I had a chance to find out what Nick Nurse was discussing with his players. He applauded their shooting and their shot selection, saying, we're taking the right threes, not forcing anything. Keep doing that, and they'll continue to fall. Makes the game easy, doesn't it? Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Allie. The Sixers trailing. Maxi passes to Covington. Beverly. Back to Embiid. Four on the clock. Deflected. And he gets it back. And it's good for two. Embiid's got six in the quarter. The battle of the boards has been something to watch. It's Bridges on the wing. Here's Hayward. Hey, the slam. Up top, Embiid. Back to Maxi. Screen by Embiid. From about 19, and it goes straight through with a swish. Such a clutch shooter. This guy lives for these kinds of moments and delivers. Beverly against Ball. Pass to Rozier. Beverly with a steal. Pass break, Philadelphia. Now 
Now Embiid, covered by Richards. To tie it up. And the finish by Embiid as he lays it in. Embiid's got 36 points. And <laughs> one thing you can say about Embiid, he never shoots from the ball. The three from ball. Rebound by the 76ers. Embiid's got his 18th rebound here tonight. All over the place. left in the game. from ball. No good from three-point range. Regulation is ended and we are headed to overtime. And we'll return shortly.
Well, four quarters were enough to decide this ball game. Sit back and enjoy as we move on to overtime. We've got Tobias Harris. Robert Covington is out there with Joel Embiid. Then it's Patrick Beverly, and it's Maxi in at the two spot. Back to Rozier. That one's good, and it's Hayward with the setup. Rozier's got 19 points. Mercy, once you've allowed Cherry Rozier to start to percolate, very difficult to cool him off. Embiid a screen on ball. Pass to Maxi. Here's Embiid, covered by Richards. Just five to shoot. Back to Maxi. From deep three-point land. The rebound by Bridges. Bridges has got six rebounds now in the game. All with it. Beverly defending. All against Beverly. Low block shot. Count it. And the Hornets lead by four. The basketball IQ is already so impressive. Love seeing LaMelo Ball get crafty in the pick and roll. Outside Covington. Pass to Embiid. Oh, it's blocked! It deflects off the backboard. Hayward with it. A little over a minute and a half gone now in overtime. Ball is coming. Down low. Bridget passes to Richards. Ball outside. From Pete Hayward. Joel Embiid with the board. Embiid's got his 20th rebound here tonight. Pass to Maxi. Embiid is straight on Rozier. Harris outside. Now Embiid. Covered by Richards. He's back. The Sixers with another miss. The family not a terrible idea, but he needs to make the game easier on himself. He's overcomplicating things. Hey, we're outside. Well, I love Gordon Hayward's tenacity in the low post. This guy's energy earns him a trip to the strike. Post number. Post team. The line. And the first one at the line is good. Free throws good from Hayward. For Philadelphia, they've gone 0 for 3 here in this overtime period. Maxi against Rozier. Stop the drop. It's him B. Going to work inside. Even if this game doesn't go their way, he has to be proud of his performance tonight. Rozier against Maxi. to Hayward. Pass to Rozier. And Maxi over to help. Inside is Richards. And he dunks it down. That gives him a double-double in this one. What a terrific pass. Work the ball inside and create a good look for your teammate. Maxi against Rozier to the left wing. And Embiid gets the double team. Outside Maxi. Beverly, a screen on Rozier. And it's Maxi missing. The Hornets have gotten three of five attempts to go as we play here in this OT period. Richards with a screen. There's Ball with a three. Ooh, Ball dropping it into three. When LaMelo entered the league, this three-point shot was a little bit of a mystery. But boy, we can put that to rest. This young man can shoot it. Maxi attacking. Unable to get that one. 
Griffin. Oh, nice D from Rozier. And it's the Hornets ball. They're on an 11-2 run. Ball passes to Rozier. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. And now it's an 11-point Hornet lead. Nothing left to do but to watch the clock tick towards zero. Nice victory here for the Hornets. Yeah, they've been outstanding in this extra period, putting this one out of reach. Yeah, just an amazing game to watch, B.A. Yeah, this is a nice victory for them. It's win number 14 of the year. And against a familiar opponent, it's nice to establish a psychological advantage with the win in the first game. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Beverly, left side. Pass to Maxi. From outside the arc. Richards pulls it in. There's 21 seconds left to play in overtime. Hayward, outside. So Charlotte takes this one by a big margin. They escape with the W, even though they needed a few extra minutes to pull it off. And both teams gave their all. But when it came down to overtime, it was about who had more determination. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Gordon, congratulations. As you look to lead this team to sustained success, wins like this have to be encouraging. Yeah, it felt good. Uh, it was a great team win for us. Uh, we came into this one with a lot of focus. We really guarded them. I think that allowed us to get good shots on the other end. So, um, you know, they're going to be better. They're going to be able to knock down some shots they missed tonight. But good effort by us. Offense starts on defense. Thanks so much. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that'll do it, folks. For Doris Burke, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and our entire crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in as we leave you with the New Balance Player of the Game.